<laughs> Where are you running to? Get out, get your ass over here. <laughs> oh shit. I'm crying right now. This is funny. Oh shit. So this is an exciting addition. Now, if you know the channel by any stretch, if you know me or anything of this channel, I am a huge fan of the T55s. I know they may not be the best things in the real world, but when it comes to aesthetics and overall raw performance, you can't really go wrong with the trusty T55, right? It's the uh, jack of all trades, but master of none. And I think it holds that title incredibly well, but what makes this one unique compared to that of its Russian counterparts or even its Chinese counterparts? Well, before I go ahead and dive into that, I just want to let you guys know really quick that this is mandatory right now in the channel is uh, the sales are currently going on. And if you want to save an extra 3% uh, or maybe I think it's an extra 3%, I don't know if it adds on to it or not, but nonetheless, it still supports me as a creator. You can use my 3% discount code to save yourself some shekels as well as get my in-game decal. And that same 3% goes to me as a creator, which means you support me directly. It's, it's super awesome. That's why we always advertise this to you guys, because it's no harm to you and it benefits everybody, right? Yeah, cool, awesome. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, the sponsor gigs should be coming in around January as December was kind of iffy due to the whole recession thing going on right now in the United States. It kind of sucks, but that's for a different day. But anyways, what makes this so incredibly unique well a couple of things at least in one area right it has great firepower for the br let me explain really quick now as you see right here it does feature a new dart this is a brand new dart i don't know if there's any uh, other clones of it in the other nations i couldn't find it really but this is the m1000a1 which is a, a very good shell for the most part right 344 base pen 290 at 30 199 at 60 and gradual drop off over uh, distance now this may not seem like a lot, right? But if you compare this to, say, the Russians, uh, let's say T55A to 3BM25, you can kind of see the difference right here. That 60 degrees is superior by a large margin. And that's 60, you will feel it in the game itself. That's right. And also, BR412D, which is a T1 modification, in my opinion, is one of the best 100 millimeter uh, AP CBC rounds in the game. In fact, I would say this is probably the best well-rounded AP CBC in the game. And also you do get a tier two laser range finder. This thing makes uh, shooting at distance incredibly easy and it does auto adjust the gun. At least to my knowledge, it does. Most laser range finders do. And of course you get the typical, right? You get the heat rounds, you get the, um, <laughs> you get the uh, NVD smoke rounds. Yeah, cool, whatever, right? But if you are familiar with any of the T55 series or T54s, this is exactly the same thing, minus the fact that it has some pretty decent sights, right? Three to seven times, hell, not even the premium gets these good of sights, in my opinion. Very good brawling sights. You also get, of course, a decent amount of mobility, 50 kilometers an hour, turret traverse, not too terrible, vertical targeting, 4.2 degrees with my current expert crew, and the usual 12.7 millimeter top mounted gun, 7.62 coax. It's not super special in that regards, but those two factors, the 100 millimeter APFSDS, as well as that laser rangefinder paired with a decent sight, it should make for a relatively pleasant experience. And to think it's in the Swedish tech tree, it's a Finnish vehicle, I know that. But where's the East German T55s or T72s, right? We have the BMP, we have the MiGs, etc. But Gaijin does not want to give them the T55s. Come on, spice things up a little bit. I get it, Sim is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but come on. <laughs> so, anyways. I got a little rant right there. I do apologize. So with all that being said, let's take this bad boy out and see whether or not it's worth your time to get because 8.3 for the Swedish is actually pretty damn good right now. Let's begin. Yeah, I'm going to be sniping. Yeah, I'm going to sit my happy butt right up here. And uh, I brought a couple of extra darts for the most part. I have to carry around 11 of them, but I carry just a few more. It's just to more or less kind of get rid of the ammunition in the back of the uh, the turret as well as in the hole itself and kind of keep it in one area. But it doesn't always help out 
too too much but in a hold down position like this shouldn't be too bad but look at those sights though they're so nice yeah i get it i know right now let's see who we have as a start oh boy he needs to die yes first strike i absolutely love that one that's bmp that is a. Uh... Oh, i did forget to mention this thing has really crap reload uh 9.1 with an expert crew it's not the absolute best but gotcha perfect Ooh. Ooh. oh what are you gonna do reverse yeah didn't think so gotcha sort of ah oh shit no i didn't get him there's a dude right here come on fire 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 gotcha got his loader horizontal and okay you know what i gotta load this up the problem with this round though is um ooh, poor thing uh is over penetration i may or may not be able to get this guy oh boy without much of an issue bmp2 come on come on come on, come on. gotcha really really <laughs> oh shit Ooh. Yeah, i know what he's doing oh hmm this is gonna be tricky Oh, oh! <laughs> that actually works. I didn't think it was going to work. Oh, that's that needs to die. Um, yeah, I was loading the dart just for him and they got him. Nice. Well done. Hell yeah. I don't really know what to expect right now, to be honest. So I'm going to be a little bit campy, I think. Damn it. Ooh, gotcha. Ooh, sorry. I was just, uh, dropping already on this guy right here i hear somebody but dude i'm telling you man this dart it does not mess around that almost 200 millimeters uh 60 degrees at flat or uh base pen is nuts oh there he is <laughs> yeah i had a feeling that's a wma nice try buddy <laughs> i know i pity count them i don't know why it's, uh, it's just instinctive right but I think he thought I was going to go up front and not behind him. But when he shot, uh, I knew he was there. There's a, uh, a PGZ nearby. He just knocked out my teammate. I'm trying to find out where the hell he's at. There he is. Gotcha. Perfect. For some reason, this dart likes to spawn really, really well. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a new shell. Maybe Gaijin hasn't nerfed it yet. I have no idea. Oh, dude. Oh, balls um come on intercept intercept inter oh. <laughs> he's out of missiles he's out of missiles we actually tanked that see guys when i say that you should carry like less rounds than you're used to i wasn't kidding let's see if we can get him oh. i'll get you later buddy oh, oh. <laughs> You know, sometimes I'm so proud of myself for getting those snapshots on. But, uh, yeah, that was good. Well, this game is coming to an end, and I think we did incredibly well. Check this out. Seven kills, three assists, and a single cat. No deaths. Yeah, I think we did good. Now, here's the funny part. I probably used all of my luck in this one clip. So the next one may be eventful, may not. We'll have to really see. So let's go to the next one. So I'm keeping the uh, 15 darts and the APCBC because I feel like it worked out pretty well for us. Now, I have a curious thought, and I'm sure you guys have had the same one too. Have you ever realized or had a sudden realization that you always get the up tier and then these players around you, the ones with, you know, let's say the uh, the Puma. There's a Puma in here. I mean, he's, he's right there. You can kind of see him, right? And he has a full down tier. And you're thinking, man, how come I can't be like these guys? How come I always get up tiered and they always get the down tier? I feel like it's always me, right? Well, that guy probably had the same experience as you not long ago and so on and so forth. So, I don't know, maybe you're like me and you never see a down tier? Who knows? Uh, I'm scared to do this. All right, screw it. I, someone's gotta do it and I guess it's gonna be me. There's one right there. M60's down. Oof, the start is not disappoint. I got my teammate behind me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire, 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 fire. Uh, sort of. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. 50 cal, do your thing. 50 cal. Oh, damn it. Let's go right here. Gotcha. All right, I got to move, pop and smoke. Oof. 
Sorry, buddy. I know I smoked up my teammate. Got another one. Whoa, that is a, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, it's a T-72. Um, oh, he messed up. Gotcha. Woo. Bro, you do not play with T-72s, man. Not in this thing. <laughs> oh, shit, I think he's got a teammate. Use me as cover, would you? I hear something. I, it sounds like a light tank of some sort. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Ooh. But the question is, what is it? He's rocking ESS. There he is. I'm dead. Oh, shit. Can you get him, teammate? Please, 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 please. Why is he backing up? Bro, you had, like, the prime opportunity to engage us. Are you serious? Holy hell. Like, he could have killed me, like, nine times over. I have an idea. It's probably not going to work, but let's see if this does. Come on. Come on. It works. Hey, you wouldn't mind, uh... Fixing me up, would you? I'm really glad that worked, though. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love this guy. I got a second target coming up. I just marked it for my teammate. Actually, I think he's coming this way. Yep, he's definitely coming this way. Gotcha. 692G. Ooh, that dart he had could have messed us up, dude. I like this guy. Dude, if you come into the video, please make a comment. I want a hard aid. You're, you're awesome, dude. Seriously, you are freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Target, 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 target. Gotcha. Oh, get down, Mr. President. I took the hit. Run. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh you bastard. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm going to go on a whim and say we are getting our butts handed to us because, uh, uh yep. Well, ladies and gents, uh, if this is a jump cut to combat or next scene, I am really sorry. One front T-72. Done. I would say he was trying to spawn gank us, but now's the right time to do so. We're not going to win this game. I'm almost certain of it, but I'm going to get a couple more kills in before we leave. I've got two targets front. I've got one right down low, and I've got one right up front here. There's this guy. Shit, he sees me. Mmm. That's not good. That's not good at all. Popping smoke. Oh, shit balls. That's a T-72. That's not a T-72, but... All right, he messed up. I don't know what he's shooting me with, but he obviously messed up. All right. Oh, shit. See him? There we go. One more guy on my right. Come on. Mm, not good. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to keep his gunner dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come on. Got a dude right here. T-62. Got him. Okay, make sure he's dead. Perfect. Holy hell, how the hell are we surviving these hits and doing so well? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Breach is just messed up. This guy, I don't think he knows. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just give me, just give me a couple more seconds. There we go. All right, he doesn't know. Oh, he's counter scraping. Ooh, super smart player. All right. Um. Ooh, nice try. He's got two more loaded in the tube. He got one more. Right, I know your game, buddy. Oh shit. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I almost had a nuke, too. Well, this game is over. We did good, though. I think we did really good. Sorry if I uh, call this thing a uh, Swedish T-55 or a Swedish vehicle in general. I know it's a Finnish one. I'm just so used to calling it by Sweden because it's part of their tech tree, right? And Finland is a sub-nation to uh, Sweden. Now, check this out really quick. Ooh, there's one guy right there. Does he see me? I don't think he does. Nope. Got him. Uh, I was thinking, since we have South Africa for uh, Britain, why don't we get maybe uh, South Korea for Japan? And I know that might cause a little bit of a, a stir, I guess, but Japan needs help. They don't have many vehicles. So maybe South Korean K1, K2, K1A1 might be a good addition. 
in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey, you are? What is that? Oh. Uh, are you serious? Oh, he sees me. Uh, you think I trust that? You think? No, I don't trust that. Not one damn bit. Abe T, you can, you can keep your 1200 millimeter pending missile, dude. My ass is going over here. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, there's this guy. Oh. Oy. Well, uh, that could have been so much worse. All right, let's, uh, 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 mm. no, I'm leaving. Sorry, I I'll deal with the AFT instead. Oh, got one. Oh, is that a, uh, a T-34? Oh, sorry, bud. Now, the cool thing about the AFT, though, is that he does not have much gun depression, so I can probably deal with him with his 50 cal pretty quick, but <laughs> I don't trust myself. There he is. Oh, he does have another depression. Oh, I, li I, I apparently I lied. <laughs> that was funny. I didn't think he had gun depression like that. I all right, all right. Okay, I think, and hear me out when I say this, okay? When you break the optics like that on those type of vehicles, or the launcher platform or something, it should uh, render those missiles inoperable until you repair it. Much like how if you shoot the barrel or breach of a vehicle or a tank, it uh, requires you to repair it before you can fire it again. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's a balancing feature. I get it, uh, parrotless tank destroyers like that usually suffer a little bit, but for balancing sake, maybe that should be a thing. Just saying. WA, found. Uh, gotcha. Don't gotcha. Mm, okay, I got his. Uh, not a friendly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't trust this shot. Okay. All right, I got pop smoke. I got another target to my front right. I got multiple targets to my front. I got one coming this way right now. Shit. Damn it. Oh, this might be bad. Can I get close? We can't use this. Oh! Very nice. Another one. Perfect. That thing is overtiered, in my opinion. Where's that WMA, though? I'll find you, buddy. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> I was doing so good too. <laughs> and for once, I am not excited to play this uh, this map. <laughs> we are fully up to it, right? And we're playing on an environment where we have no thermal sights. I mean, neither does he, neither does he or him. But point being is that at 9.3 on this map, it's not exactly a thrilling experience. But having this dart handy, it might make things a little bit more even but that really remains to be seen also the galvatosh is such a pretty vehicle i cannot wait for the sabra the gosh 7c was nice and all but the sabra oh i'm excited oh got one lrf you are i aimed one let me say lrf you are sort of amazing okay he did shoot he's moving come on come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on, come on. gotcha got his driver loader all right he is reloading Come on. All right, come on. One more, one more. That's all I need is one more right here. Oh, or someone can yoink my kill. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. I messed up the first one. We'll get some more in. Oh, that is a vehicle. I looked at it like, what is that? It's... <laughs> I thought it was like a tower or something. I was like, that looks oddly like a gun, doesn't it? it or a forklift or something, but... Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? Was that a helicopter? Those are some really big explosions, man. I don't trust those. Uh, hey, on the bright side, we're still alive. Got two. Ooh. Uh, one, not three. Uh, no. Um, okay. I don't trust heat rounds. I know we're getting close to this spawn. I get it, but the game's almost over. Okay. So let me have a little bit of fun. Uh, I do not trust his heat round, although it may be a low grade one. Mm-mm. No trust. 
that is not a low grade heat round. That is a yikes. Um, I did. Oh, hi. Oy. Oh, come on, gun. Let's go. 50 cal away. Yes. Oh, oh. Hmm. Uh, uh, shit balls. Um, I ain't dead yet. Give him another hand. Teammate got him. Thank you, Gabotash. Wow, we only lost one crew member. That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you, 12.7. Yes, I'm leaving. I know. I got someone right behind me, too, and he knows I'm here. I don't want to stick around to find out what it is. And uh, apparently, neither does the Gabotash. Oh. Okay. Uh, I mean, that worked out really well. You guys can't say I'm being spawn campy right now. I got another fresh spawn. He's coming this way. There he is. Ooh. I got his commander, loader, loader, and horizontal. His dart will tear me up a brand new one, that's for sure. Ooh. Damn. All right. I don't mind me. I'm just going to stay up here for a bit then. Oh, got multiple. Hmm. Spawn protection probably on. Let me see if I can get this guy that's moving up forward right now. I don't think I'm going to get a shot on him. Am I? Find out. Got him. Ooh. Let's not show our side directly to him. Ooh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, oh, I deserve that. That's that's okay. I deserve that. You know, that was a wonderful experience. This vehicle, in my opinion, fits the 8.3 environment incredibly well. In fact, I would even go as far as to say a little too well. And it's all because of that amazing dart. This thing, the M1000A1, for some reason, just has amazing post pen effect. I don't know what it is, okay? Even if I shot WMAs, there was still enough spalling to get the job done, or at least knock out some critical components, crew members, etc. And I didn't even have to use the BR412D most of the time, which this, I rely on a lot at, uh, well, with the other nations, such as the T55AM1, the AMD, etc., because the 3BM25 is just absolutely just not fun. But this thing though, it's absolutely insane how efficient it is. And also it is a very fast firing, 1,475 meters a second, which means that it is very much a flat trajectory when it's flying. And I absolutely love it. When you pair it with a laser rangefinder that auto adjusts the sights for you, it's absolutely insane how accurate this gun can really be. The downside of course is it's a T55. The armor isn't the best. It didn't have to really be the best unless you carry a certain amount of rounds. It can definitely tank some hits, but for the most part, you don't want to get shot at while in this thing, but it can be very forgiving, especially in the down tiers. And aside from that, I would highly recommend this vehicle and seeing that it does sit as a rank six vehicle, it's not outright terrible to grind for, and it sits in a very comfortable environment with the, of course, the PB, uh, the PBV 301, the 551, the UDES, the 104, 103C, the 105, and a couple of other things too that I am missing, such as helicopters and some vehicles, but this thing fits incredibly well in its environment. So yes, this thing gets my grade A seal of approval and one that I should say grind for. It's fun. You won't really regret it, but your experience may vary because again, I know what I'm doing. I know how to play these vehicles very well for the most part, or so I think anyways, and uh, you may have a different experience overall. Who knows? But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Was this necessary? Is this a great addition? Or is this kind of a whatever thing, copy paste T55 that you guys don't care about? Personally, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's a familiar vehicle and a different tech tree. One that is, in my opinion, probably one of the best nations in the game, at least for the time being, because Sweden is just nuts. <laughs> Ever since they got Finland, it's been nuts. <laughs> so... Yeah, anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Again, let me know exactly what you guys think. And if you want to see this gameplay live, you know exactly where to find me over on Twitch. The link is in the description. Also, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays at around 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys have been coming in, and it's you guys have been making this such a brilliant experience, and I can't thank you enough for it. Seriously, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm blushing right now. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself and maybe on the better side of this vehicle. I'll see you next time.